Hello there, it's Jocelyn. Um, it's been a while, as it often is between my videos. I've been procrastinating because I really want to cover the Summer Days album in a little more comprehensive and high quality way than I did today, um, the Today album. I'm not sure if I'm if I'm there yet in my ability to do that, so I'm sort of dallying uh, until I can. But until then, I thought I'd fill in the time and get a few more videos out here by just talking about some of the songs from uh, the Today outtakes. And we're going to start with Guess I'm Dumb. And, and instead of breaking down the production, I'm going to go the opposite way um, and talk about the song itself. Uh, I'm going to... I'm calling this, this series Feels to Reels because... Uh, it, not only is, is it clever because it rhymes, but it uh, highlights an important part of Brian Wilson's songwriting process, which was translating these rhythmic and harmonic feels that he developed on the keyboard and how those translated into a full arrangement. So I'm just going to try it. If you like it, let me know. If it's dumb, let me know. Um, this can be kind of a freewheeling thing here. So, uh, so the feels... Uh, would come around from Brian just pounding on the piano. This, uh, I guess I'm dumb, evolves out of this um, bass feel. To which chords are added on the top. Now, if Brian were a less interesting songwriter, he could have done something like this. Where the bass follows the chord. So instead of having E flat go uh, to an E flat on the bass with a D flat chord over it, the bass could have just gone down with the chord. Um, but that's somewhat less interesting. Uh, the way I act don't seem like me. Or if Brian was a really trite songwriter, he could have done uh, just the one, four, five typical thing. The way I act don't seem like me. Uh, but he didn't go that route. So that bass line propels the first section of the, the chorus into the sort of pre-chorus, changing uh, bass line and chord at this, at the next chord at the a flat major seven. Oops, I did the dumb way. Then it walks down, and then that bass line, the propulsion sort of stops and it goes to a little straighter feel on the F minor seven. And then that's where the horns sort of walk up and, and uh, set the stage for this big explosion on the next chord, which is a C minor 7. So then the horns go, and there's this big opening up with the horns. has all the instruments play along with the vocal line. Guess I'm dumb, but I don't care. Um, yeah, so I'll just play the whole...
that's kind of the the layout. Um, during the instrumental bridge, which is a very clever little thing, he shifts everything up. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So it's kind of a nifty little uh, modulation and return there, shifting the whole structure up. Um, minor third. I should figure out what that chord actually is. It's probably that. Yeah, back to that uh, second in the bass thing. There you have it. Feels to reels, maybe. Um, let me know what you think of this. Look forward to, hopefully, me getting back together and doing a uh, very high-quality analysis of the Summer Days album, instruments, arrangements, production, you name it. Uh, let me know if you think this idea is interesting, maybe a little half-baked. Um, but I always welcome your input. Thanks a lot, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.